Well, my name is Aina. So I've been traveling since I was 16 years old and I've been to 30 countries since after that. My favorite would be Iceland. I went during uh, summer and also during winter. When I went to Iceland, it was pretty cool because it's um, winter at that time. But then again, I have a problem with my skin actually because I am born with uh, combination skin. So I have dry skin among my cheeks. So uh, usually I have to use a lot of things, maybe um, sunblock, moisturizers, serums, oils. So it's a bit nasty. Okay, surprisingly, this moisturizer that I'm currently using is the only one that I've actually tried. So the first thing that I grabbed was Roskin, ironically, because um, maybe because of the packaging, it's, um, it's a bit subtle and you know people won't know that I have um, some sort of like a skin problem when I'm using it. Maybe they think that it's the lotion, right? Just I didn't actually look at the price when I was uh, taking it. Uh, for me, it was quite affordable. It's very uh, convenient to bring all over. And for me, when I use it, the texture is quite nice. It's really nice. It doesn't leave a lingering smell. And what I notice is that when, ling when I put raw skin in my, uh, these areas which are very dry, I notice that um, it, would, it wouldn't be dry for like a nut for 12 to 18 hours, which, is, which works quite good with me because I sometimes forget to apply moisturizers all over. Because it's the only moisturizer that I've used uh, for now, and I'm really comfortable with it, and I like it. It smells good, the texture is really great, and it comes in a travel pack, so it's easy to carry around. Well, currently I'm using the sensitive uh, skin cream because uh, I just realized after a trip to a dermatologist, so they said at this region I have sensitive skin, and over at this area I have oily skin, but. Um, I recently upgraded from the usual blue one to this uh, light blue pack. Some of us work in this air-conditioned um, air environment and that actually helps worsen a lot for the dry skin, uh, dry skin people, right? So um, I don't think you should skip moisturizers even in Malaysia.